critical of the woman that has adopted yes. your baby. Yes. Um, because this is this is what happened. I, I went to court, and I was 16, and I met her after Evelyn was placed with her. Wait, let me just tell them one thing, because they need a little background. I was barred from all her court proceedings. She begged and cried, can my mom please be in here? I'm scared, I'm terrified. They wouldn't let her. They said, absolutely not. We're treating her as an adult. I'm pushed out. I'm, I, I went to court, and I was terrified. And I met Jillian. And she, you know, she sat with me, and I was crying. And she's like, I, I know, it's okay. You know, I, I, I had a little bit of a trouble past, too. I ran away when I was 15. And, you know, she, she started telling me things. And she was like, you know, if anything happens, I promise you, I will always keep her in your life. I promise. And I cannot tell you, Dr. Phil, I held on to those words. Because I'm like, okay, at least if anything happens, at least I will be a part of her life. Because it didn't, it didn't look good. Because they kept telling me, you're going to lose her. You're going to lose her. You're going to lose her. And I was trying everything I could not to. And she promised me. And then I reach out. I mean, and then I'm told when I'm 17, after I've been fighting, after I've been holding a job, after they've been switch, going my visits down from four hours to three hours to two hours to one hours a week. To no visits. And to, because Jillian would take her out of town or would just decide, I'm not having a visit. And so I would get none. And I hadn't seen my daughter in a month. I hadn't seen my mom and my sister in months. And they told me, the attorney and the caseworker sat me down and told me that if you do not sign away your parental rights today, you are going to go to jail. I was terrified. And I, I didn't know what to do. And I felt like I had nothing. And so I ran. I ran as far away as I could because I'm like, I am not signing her away. After I turned 18, I got pregnant with my son Harrison. And I started turning my life around, and I reached out to Jillian, and I said, and I, I, and before that, I had called a phone number that she had given me at court. She said, this is my phone number if you want to call. And I called, and I left a message, and I'm like, you know, this is, this is Olivia. I would like to talk. I would like to meet with you. I never said, let me see Evelyn. Let me do this. I was like, can we meet, please? And then I wrote her an email after I had my son Harrison. And I said, and, and you, I, you can pull up your email. I was like, I just want to know everything's OK. I just want to know she's OK. Please let me know how my baby is. She ignored me. And then I start digging on the internet. And I find pictures of her with multiple different men. And Cigarette. I see how, in cigarettes, Smoking, drinking. and she's drinking, she's in Vegas, and I'm over here, and I'm trying to get my life together. I have my son, I'm in college, and I'm doing whatever I can, and I lost my baby, but she's allowed to party, she's allowed to be with other men, and she's allowed to do whatever she wants, but she's never with my daughter. But she tries so hard not to let me see her. She you know what one of my friends said? You know what my friend said? She doesn't see her as a daughter, she sees her as a trophy, and she likes to keep her trophy shiny. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. It's how, do you, how do you, whoa. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What, how do you know all of this from a picture? No, it goes multiple way, pictures. Wait. It goes and way beyond a picture. Checks. It goes way beyond a picture. What background check? I well, done background checks on her. We are very As I'm concerned to about do, our because I want to know how my daughter is. This what, is our what kind of background checks? Just I've what you run online. What you what? run online? The one you run online, like you just put her name in, and all these pictures of her. Oh, and show all of a sudden, she's a stay-at-home mom, but not really because there, that picture that's right there. Picture. That's oh, that's one. such a mother and right there. There's the cigarettes and drink, but she doesn't drink or smoke, and she's an at-home mom full time, and all she does is care dress. about babies. This I, is I don't her. think that's her home. I, I this Vegas. Look, 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 Vegas. Vegas. Oh, yeah, it's Vegas. When we I'm saw not in Vegas. this, <laughs> I'm sorry, when I see this is where my granddaughter is, I can't be in contact with my granddaughter. I'm unfit. She's because unfit. She's what? She's partying unfit. in Vegas? That's fit. I'm sorry. You believe she's of poor character? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can show she's of poor character. We went to her business site, mm -hmm. and she has two pictures of before and after. She's a personal trainer of a. Of a supposed client. client, and then she writes a letter of, this is my favorite client. client. Well, we ran a Google image search on those pictures. Never her client. They're not her clients. It's Jennifer The Jimenez. one woman has her own business in Berkeley. The other woman is a model for a diet pill ad. She's on over 759 websites. That's fraud. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.